Hey there everyone, Professor Yui here. In today's video, we'll speculate on where and how the Straw Hats will get to the 4th Road Poneglyph. Let's jump straight in. Poneglyphs Let's start off by doing a quick refresher on Poneglyphs. As far as we know, there are three types of Poneglyph. The first one has information about the past recorded on it, and it was said that only nine of these exist in the world. The second type are the four Poneglyphs that contain the information on how to get to Raftel, known as Road Poneglyphs, which when combined with the first history type Poneglyph, will complete a story. The final type are ones that have locations of all the other Poneglyphs written on it. Then there's the Poneglyph that doesn't belong to any of the three categories, which was written by Joy Boy and is currently in Fishman Island. According to Tamago from the Big Mum Pirates, there are roughly 30 Poneglyphs in total scattered around the world, although it's possible that there are more that have yet to be found. Road Poneglyphs At this moment, we know three out of the four road Poneglyphs that exist. The first one is in Zol, the second one is in possession of Kaido, and the third one is in possession of Big Mum. To reach Raftel, we need the fourth road Poneglyph, and going by the order so far, the next Poneglyph the Straw Hats will find will probably be the information type that will lead them to the final road Poneglyph. Poneglyph Guardians To try and speculate where the next Poneglyph is going to be, let's take a look at the Poneglyph Guardians we have seen so far, and there have been quite a few. King Cobra of Alabaster, descendants of the Shandir who lives in Sky Island, the Minx in Zol, and also the Neptune from Fishman Island. One thing they all have in common is that they are all races, tribes or kingdoms that have existed since the ancient times. Alubana, the capital of Alabasta, was built 4,000 years ago, and similarly Shandora, the ancient city in Jaya, and Zol both have history from over 1,000 years ago. Fishman Island too have had an advanced civilization 900 years ago, judging from the interaction between Joy Boy and the Mermaid Princess. All of these civilizations have histories that are older than the Void Century, so we'll most likely find the next Poneglyph to be in a place that predates the Void Century. The next Poneglyph's location. Okay, so I think we'll find the next Poneglyph guarded by the giants in their home kingdom. I would like to emphasize though, that this giant's kingdom is not Elbaf. Elbaf is the most famous, the most well-known kingdom of the giants, but not all giants came from Elbaf. In fact, Jajua D. Saul was not from Elbaf, and he said that not all giants are like the giant warriors from Elbaf. I think Elbaf was part of a much larger giant's kingdom that went independent because of their different culture and way of life, which mainly involves fighting, and they became very famous because of the giant warrior pirates who were rampaging over 1000 years ago. This means that there is a kingdom of giants that has a history that dates much further back, possibly to before the Void Century. And if Saul came from this ancient kingdom instead of Elbaf, it would explain the D in his name. In fact, they may know about the secrets behind D, and we will find out about it when we get to them. Another important point here is the existence of the ancient giants, such as Oz and Orge Jr, who are much larger and stronger than normal giants. The fact that Oz Jr was alive two years ago at the Paramount War must mean that there's a civilization, a kingdom, where ancient giants live somewhere and this might well be part of the same kingdom Saul came from. Therefore, to reach the final road Poneglyph, I think the Straw Hats will travel to a giant's kingdom that is not Eldath. That's it for today's video. If you liked the video, press the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. See you on the next video.